Around 20,000 EU citizens who work in Scotland's public sector will have any costs they face to stay in the UK covered by the state photo Getty Chris Green 3 hours Sunday October 8, 2017 The Scottish Government is ready to spend £1.3 million to help EU nationals who work in the nation's schools and hospitals secure their status after Brexit. Around 20,000 EU citizens who work in Scotland's public sector will have any costs they face to stay in the UK covered by the state, under plans set to be outlined by Nicola Sturgeon. The proposal is designed to reassure EU nationals and their families that they they will not face a financial penalty for choosing to stay in the UK after Brexit. Theresa May has said that EU citizens who have lived in Britain for five years will be offered a new settled status, but will have to apply for a special ID card giving them the right to stay. The application fee for the document is expected to be approximately the same as a British passport, which is currently set at £65. This means that the cost of Scotland's policy is likely to be £1.3 million, according to a Scottish government spokesperson. Private sector workers The offer will not extend to EU nationals who work in the private sector, but the Scottish government hopes that major firms will offer to do the same for their employees. Ms Sturgeon said the UK government's failure to offer EU nationals an unequivocal guarantee of their right to stay after Brexit was morally indefensible and economically short-sighted. As a result, some are choosing to leave and others who would have been attracted to the UK and Scotland no longer wish to come here. That is a disgrace, she added. Those EU nationals who are already living and working here under freedom of movement rules should not be made to jump through hoops to remain. Practical solution for Scotland She said the offer of financial assistance was a practical way of ensuring that Scotland was able to retain the doctors, nurses and other public sector workers it needed. Above all, it will send a clear message that EU citizens are welcome here. On the opening day of the SNP's autumn conference in Glasgow, Brexit Minister Michael Russell said there were around 191,000 EU nationals living in Scotland, working in almost every sector. People want to feel wanted, and the present atmosphere is not conducive to them feeling wanted, he said. There are an awful lot of people saying to themselves we don't want to stay. He added that he had recently spoken to a German doctor who had worked in Scotland's NHS for 20 years, who felt abused by the fact that he would be made to apply for the new status. In news,